True Believers, this is Doc Hogg, and welcome to episode 58 of Comics and Variety. If you like this channel, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, and for the sake of YouTube's search algorithm, please do hit the like button. Alrighty, today in Hogg's Headlines, I will be giving you a preview of Doc Hogg's new parenting class. So if you have kids, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But first, we have some writing tips from our friend and contributor, Mike, the Bloody Red Baron. 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 <coughs> okay, cool it, ladies. Alrighty, in today's video, we have some more pointers about writing. So let's get, uh, let's get to it. Here with Mike sharing more about upcoming books and writing tips. Good morning. The writer's first duty is to entertain. Well, how do you entertain? You entertain with every trick in the book. Part of it is plot. Part of it is character, creating a likable character. Part of, is it, is, of it is ideas. But part of it is also the sound of the words you use. Uh, the sound of words is important. Uh, and you don't want to put the reader off by writing stuff that's hard to read because it doesn't sound good in your head. Uh, I was trying to read an adaptation of a Russian novel the other day that my brother-in-law gave me. It's called The Master and Margarita. Uh, and it was so filled with magical realism and asides and adjectives that I just couldn't get through it. Adjectives are not your friend. Instead of using an adjective to describe something, find a verb that tells the story better. But getting back to the sound of words, uh, words can be musical, uh, they can be pleasing to the ear, or they can be off-putting and difficult to read, like a jagged path uh, filled with rocky boulders. You don't want to climb that path. It's just too difficult. Uh, I'm reading a book on Crosby, Stills, and Nash right now. And uh, when they got together to decide on a name for the band, uh, Stephen Stills, whose idea it was, says, well, my name should be first. And they said, well... Let's try it out. Let's let's say it out loud and see what sounds best. Stills, Crosby, and Nash. We're Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Well, there was no contest. One sounds better than the other. It just does. Nobody is a better wordsmith than James Elroy. Even if you don't know his work, you've seen the movie L.A. Confidential. He wrote L.A. Confidential. And Elroy is unique in American letters because he derives his writing style from the rat-a-tat style of the tabloids of the 50s and Walter Winchell. He writes like Walter Winchell talks. We won't waste words. What paparazzi plague police department deploys proactive propaganda via a vivid TV show. Said show, sadly sagging into retrograde ratings, a ripe rumor. The star of the stale show shivers in the shadow of a politically potent police chief. You see how he uses alliteration? Now, not everybody can do this, and a little alliteration goes a long way. But in the hands of James Elroy, a lot of alliteration goes a long way. He also employs a machine gun technique, rat-a-tat-tat, where every sentence falls another, a lot of short sentences one after the other. This doesn't work for everybody. You have to find your own style. But when you are writing, be aware of the sound of the words. And if you wonder if the sound works, it's simple to test it out. Just say it out loud. You say it out loud to yourself. You can say it out loud to whoever's in the room and say, does that sound good to you? Does it sound fussy? Does it sound concise? Does it make you want to read more? So the sound of words is important. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Any new things on the horizon? New books published? Or well, as you books? all know, Florida Man is out, and it's doing very well. Uh, the sixth Josh Pratt biker novel, Bloodline, will be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, I have to uh, edit the seventh. There's a seventh Josh Pratt novel that's completed, and I'm working on a Western right now and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, Michael A. Barron, you know, and I also have a Mike Barron author page, and I'm on Twitter 
at Bloody Red Baron. All right, please subscribe, ring the bell notification button, and thank you for watching. We're trying to upload these Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mike. All righty, that music means that it is time for Hogg's Headlines, all the news that Doc Hogg wants to report on. Dateline, how to be a better parent. Yes, as noted earlier, I am starting up a new parenting class. I will be teaching you how to teach your kids all the right things. And believe me, it gets results. Here's an example. Can you say hi? Hi. And Daddy's got a quick question for you, okay? Who's this? That's right. Okay, if you're interested in this parenting class, please email me for times and prices. That's all for now. Until next time, have a very nice day. Fair notice.